we said, Jeff Cobb, a 2004 Olympian. That was in wrestling, by the way, freestyle wrestling. Oh, I had, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. And yeah, and he's so compact. Oh, he's just so thick. thick. It's like the new bread of professional wrestling. You look at him, guys like him, like Michael Elgin, those guys. You see how successful they are becoming in the world of professional wrestling. And can Leo Rush fight and overcome that power? Because you know Cobb's going to go to the power game. Oh, of course. But again, as we've seen before with Jeff Cobb, oh. do not be surprised when he starts getting all athletic and stuff. Look at Leo try to get around him. To get around him, listen, go and get into your car. And, and Leo Rush, they, he's got an amateur background as well. Not that he status of, a, of the former Olympian. No, of course not. But you are right. He is a, he is an amateur of sorts. Going for a single leg. Cobb that lower base and that power able to take Rush straight down. Rush trying to flow down. There's that power. And he just launched. Oh he just threw Leo Rush out of the ring. My God. He threw him. I mean, I hate for the old saying, but he threw him like a rag doll. And Leo Rush, he's got a stick and move. There's no way he can try to out-wrestle Jeff Cobb. Not straight up. Maybe if you wore him down just a bit. But Cobb is fresh. Look at Cobb again. Gosh. This is almost embarrassing. Leo Rush, I, I don't understand the game plan he's trying to execute here. The only thing they can think is maybe he's trying to ca catch Cobb off guard. Yeah, they wake up pretty early in the morning to do that. Very true. And Leo Rush said, give me one second. No. Oh, he's done. Yeah. You know, he does get counted out after 10, right? Well, I, I, I hope, I'm pretty sure he realizes that. He's gone. Where in the world did he go? If he's smart, he's in his car right now driving to the next city. He's in danger of getting counted out here. I mean, where did he go? Um, well, Jeff Cobb just broke the count. Then, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Well, I told you there was an amateur background. I didn't think he had his gear in the back, though. Look, Jeff Cobb's laughing at him. Well, now he's... Maybe maybe it's a mindset. Maybe Leo Rush had to get in that mindset Slapping to go him. after Cobb. Slapping himself in the face, getting him all pumped, himself all pumped up. And look at him. Go behind. Reversal. Uh -oh. Escape by Rush. Another switch. Cobb sends him off. High oh, cross binding got no. caught. Cobb didn't even budge. Trying to press. Oh, oh, went for a suplex. Rush got out of it. Ducked the clothesline. Oh, oh. Kick, oh right to the side of the head. This is what you were saying. He's got to stick and move. He's yeah. got to stick and move. Cobb didn't go down, though. He's trying to body slam. Can he go? No. Jeff Cobb shifted his weight. And Leo Rush goes right down to the canvas. That was, that was still pretty impressive on Leo's part, though. And you might, yeah, you might want to take that gear off. It didn't work. Oh, no. And now, well, you may have just angered Jeff Cobb more than anything else. And Leo Rush. Oh, wow, what a kick. Right into the massive chest of Jeff Cobb, who catches him in that bear hug. Oh, and a straight right hand right to the chin. And now Jeff Cobb, who is not afraid to go aerial either, I might add. As oh I said, God. a former Lucha Underground champion. And look at Cobb with one arm. With one arm. Wow. He's about to press rush to the ceiling. Oh, I, I'm at a loss for words, and you know how rarely that happens. 
Wow, I want to talk about a press slam. There's a cover. And barely a kick out from Leo Rush. He almost just has to find a way to wiggle himself around underneath of Jeff Cobb to get out of that. Oh, look at that. Just unmitigated power from Jeff Cobb here. And we might get a submission right in the center of the ring, Slattery. I mean, and Leo is getting absolutely dominated right now. In here, look at the face of Leo Rush right now as it gets launched into the corner. And another straight right hand from Kyle. I mean, we've seen Leo as the underdog before, but I don't know if I've seen anybody this dominating to him. Oh! Did you see the whiplash on that headbutt? Kyle is so dangerous. And a cover it. Usually you get on people for making covers like that, but Cobb had so much strength, he believes he doesn't need to hook the leg of Leo Rush. You better hope that doesn't backfire on him as this match continues here at Slambury 2. Lee Frog and Cobb goes right out to the floor. Oh. And now Leo Rush, you can feel it. Leo Rush is gonna fly, and he got oh, caught wow. on the floor. What's Cobb gonna do with him? Oh, he just oh. press slammed him. He just landed on that bottom rope. Wow. Not only did he land on that bottom rope, but then he went face first right into canvas. And a stomp right to the side of the head. Jeff Cobb is literally stalking Leo Rush right now. Sunset flip, he ain't gonna get this. Trying to use his power now. Trying to use his speed. Went for that DDT that Rush is patented for, and Cobb won't let it happen. But did he turn into a dragon sleeper? Oh, and Cobb again using his strength advantage to get out of it. It amazes me how strong Cobb is. And a power slam! Shades of the British Bulldog with that power slam. I mean, it's just scary for Leo. I mean, I literally just saw Jeff Cobb eating something backstage way bigger than what Leo Rush, Rush's body weight is. And this is the unmitigated power we were talking about earlier. Jeff Cobb oh. can do whatever he wants to Leo Rush at this particular point in time. Wow. Wow, this has been, this has been a dominating performance by Cobb. Oh, and oh. Oh, the velocity! Rush literally went through the turnbuckle. Leo Rush has collapsed right on the ring apron. I mean, very Jeff rarely. Cobb is saying, you have, have you had enough? I don't think so. Very rarely do you count Leo Look at out, this. but... He can do whatever he wants to Leo Rush right at this particular point in time. Rush trying to fight back. Leapfrog right over Duck in the clothesline springboard, and he got caught again. But this time, over the top goes Rush. Caught him with a flying forearm. Off the ropes, again with another flying forearm. Jeff Cobb has not been knocked off his feet yet. Palm strikes. Oh, well, he missed there. Oh, he didn't miss that kick. Oh. And Cobb oh, goes down. down. He's down. Rush has got to get on him here. And Rush pulling the straps back up. It's time to get serious. Now he pulls him back down. I think he is serious now. Wow. Yes. What strength. Wow. That's got to be it. The cover oh. of what? Not even a one count. Well, I stand corrected. Oh. Kick straight to the chin. 
Cover on Cobb! And no, only a two count. Well, Leo is finally starting to do what you were telling him to do the entire match. He's hitting him with that quick offense. He's got to stick and move. Stick and move. That's what you got to do if you want to beat a man like Jeff Cobb. Because if he catches you, it will be over. Well, Leo, you got to get up to that top real quick. Don't give Cobb too much time to rest. Another he's, great match, though, isn't it, Ben? He's thinking about that frog splash. If he connects, it's over. Nobody home. Pool was empty right there, and he got caught again. Oh, look at that. Oh! Rush thought he could land on his feet, and instead Cobb caught him for a suplex. And now the frustration starting to set in in the face of Jeff Cobb right now. He threw him from a power bomb and then caught him into an exploder suplex. And now looking for the knockout blow if he can get it. Oh, we've seen this before. If Cobb connects with this, it's over. Leo Rush doesn't see it coming. Oh, but he blocked it. Duck under. Palm strike again connects. This is how he got the advantage last time. Can he? Yes! Oh. He got that DDT in! And now Rush quickly on the top. Frog Splash connects. Oh, this and is Rush. Smart. This is smart. But he's thinking one's not going to be enough. I completely agree. But you that car is three quarters of the way across the ring. And oh. Rush connects again. Two of them. He oh. 